When I was a child, I spoke, thought, and reasoned as a child. But when I grew up, I put away childish things. Now we see things imperfectly like puzzling reflections in a mirror. But then, we will see everything with perfect clarity. All I know now is partial and incomplete. But then, I will know everything completely, just as God knows me completely. Please allow me to humbly introduce myself. My name is Frank Harvey Logan. I was born in the United States of America, in the city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I grew up in its suburbs and during my late teens, I moved to New York City. I want you to know that I come from an unworthy past, past of unrighteousness, unfaithfulness, and disobedience. But over 10 years ago on July 4th, 2011, Jesus Christ put an end to my past and gave birth to my future. Indeed, the future was and still is a bright one. And it would not be possible for me to speak of my history without mentioning Prophet T.B. Joshua and his ministry, Emmanuel TV, in the Synagogue Church of All Nations. By the special grace of God, T.B. Joshua took me in while I was a nobody at the end of my rope and gave me the rare privilege to work under him as an evangelist for nine years. There, the Holy Spirit used the man of God to teach me many different things, among them being humility, discipline, and perseverance. I learned from his accomplishments as a prophet and also his mistakes as a man. I was even given the undeserved grace to preach on his altar. I had the rare privilege of witnessing the miraculous works of God in his spirit on a regular basis. I mean, it was an atmosphere of faith where healing, deliverance, and prophecy were just like breathing. As I matured in faith, I came to realize that the secret behind all the miracles was not the power or godliness of any human being, but rather, they all came about simply through faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts 3.16 As many of you may know, Prophet T.B. Joshua was unexpectedly called to glory a few months ago on June 5, 2021. I miss him dearly and will forever remain grateful for all the positive things that he contributed to my life. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May we all run our ways according to the will of God, that we may rejoice together in heaven. The first resurrection and in the new Jerusalem with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My continued prayers and support for his lovely wife Evelyn Joshua, who is a true woman of God and who has been a wonderful mother in the Lord to me. It gladdens my heart to see that through many different trials she has found favor in the sight of the Lord as the newfound leader of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Also my continued prayers for his wonderful children, Sarah, promise, and heart. Let us remember that the Word of God calls us to look out after the widows and the orphans in James chapter 1 verse 27. Also to all my brothers and sisters in the Lord from the scone, I want you to know that I love you all dearly, and I pray that the name of the Lord is glorified in all of our lives going forward. Yes, for those who are in Christ Jesus, the best is always yet to come. So as God would have it, just seven months prior to T.B. Joshua's passing, God Almighty put it in my heart that it was time for me to come back to my country and start a new chapter in my life according to His glory. After nine years here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, packing my bags. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. In Jesus' name. I'll admit that it wasn't an easy transition. Coming back to my country in New York City after so many years and becoming part of the society once again. But it was an important part of my walk of faith. 
as it was time for me to put all the many teachings that I had learned into action. Yes, God never said that we wouldn't face challenges, but He's promised to see us through. So after God helped me find my pace, He put it in my heart to move from New York City to the state of Florida where I currently reside, and He has continued to provide for me everything that I need in order to start the next chapter of my life. So I came to this remote island to spend a few days in the presence of God, praying for His mercy, His forgiveness, His grace, and his direction. Yes, whatever happens, let us remember that the scriptures tell us in 1 Corinthians 13:13 13, 13, that these three things shall remain forever: faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. To the glory of God, I want to welcome you all to Faith, Hope, and Love Ministries with Frank Harvey Logan.